Imagine waking up every morning, coffee in hand, and turning on your TV to see that familiar smiling face telling you about the weather. It feels like he's been a part of your daily routine forever. Al Roker isn't just any weather man. He's practically an institution, a staple in American homes for decades. But here's something you might not know. Al Roker's story isn't just about forecasts. Behind the camera, there's a life filled with more drama, resilience, and luxury than you'd expect. He's built a media empire, owns stunning homes, and has a car collection that could make any gearhead jealous. Let's take a journey through the incredible life of the man you thought you knew, but didn't. Al Roker. Al Roker's Rise to Fame Al Roker's rise to fame wasn't something that just happened overnight. Born in Queens, New York in 1954, Al's journey to the top started in the most humble of beginnings. Raised in a Catholic family, he grew up alongside five siblings, with his father working as a bus driver and his mother holding down the fort at home. And while Al may have had dreams of becoming a cartoonist in his early years, fate had something else in store. It all started when Al attended the State University of New York at Oswego, where he majored in communications. His first weather job? A small CBS station in Syracuse, New York, back in the mid-1970s. He was making just $20,000 a year. Can you imagine that? From there, his talent and on-screen charisma quickly caught the eye of NBC. By 1978, he was working for their Cleveland affiliate, and before long, he got called up to the big leagues in New York City. And just like that, Al Roker was on the path to becoming America's favorite weatherman. Expanding Beyond Weather Al's natural charm and ability to engage viewers quickly made him more than just the weatherman. He became a television personality in his own right. You might remember seeing him on shows like Late Night with David Letterman, where his personality shined in front of millions of late-night viewers. His presence became so valuable that NBC gave him his own weekend talk show on CNBC in 1995. And it didn't stop there. Al's career grew beyond the weather. He started hosting game shows like Celebrity Family Feud and Remember This, and even branched into food shows like Roker on the Road. It was clear. This guy was made for TV, no matter what the format. And let's not forget his annual hosting gig for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. For over 25 years, Al has been the face of this iconic holiday event, making it nearly impossible to separate Thanksgiving from Al Roker himself. But maybe what stands out most about Al's expanding career are his Rokerthon events. Do you remember those? In 2014, he set a Guinness World Record for the longest continuous weather broadcast, 34 straight hours. The following year, he toured all 50 states in just seven days for Rokerthon to Sysfors, proving he was not only an on-screen staple, but a man of epic endurance. Luxurious Lifestyle, Homes and Cars Now when it comes to living, Al Roker knows how to do it in style. His Manhattan brownstone is a dream home for many. Back in 2000, he and his wife, Deborah Roberts, sold their previous home and purchased a stunning $3.2 million brownstone in the Upper East Side of Manhattan. It's not just a house, it's a statement. The couple put in a ton of work to transform the home, with Al making sure the kitchen, of all places, was perfect. After all, if you know anything about Al, you know he's a passionate cook. He wanted a space where he could whip up meals for his family, and they made it happen. But the real heart of the Roker Roberts home? The art. Inspired by the McCain family's tradition, Al and Deborah proudly display their children's artwork throughout the house. Every piece tells a story, adding a personal touch to the modern yet warm feel of their home. And let's not forget their second home in Hudson Valley, New York. During the pandemic, when most of us were stuck indoors, Al took things up a notch by broadcasting the Today Show from this scenic. Imagine watching him deliver the weather not from a studio, 
but surrounded by the tranquility of nature. The home, with its wide-open kitchen and cozy living spaces, is where Al and his family escape the hustle and bustle of New York City. It's their haven, complete with a huge backyard, perfect for family barbecues and late-night gatherings under the stars. As for cars, oh, Al's collection is nothing short of impressive. He's got a 2019 Ford Mustang, which is a real classic, boasting 315 horsepower. This thing is a beauty, with a turbocharged engine that roars down the highway. Then there's the Ford Crown Victoria. Talk about a reliable ride. With a 5-liter V8 engine, it's the perfect combination of power and comfort. But it doesn't stop there. Al also owns a sleek BMW i4, a fully electric luxury car that combines sustainability with jaw-dropping performance. It's the kind of ride that tells you Al Roker is not just a weather guy. He's living the dream. Philanthropy and Legacy Al Roker isn't just about success and luxury. He's about giving back. Over the years, he has become deeply involved in a variety of charitable causes. One that stands out is his longtime support for the Ronald McDonald House Charities. This organization helps families with sick children stay close to their loved ones during hospital stays, and Al's involvement has helped raise awareness and funds for countless families in need. He's also been a spokesperson for National Train Day, advocating for sustainable travel, and a supporter of the Amber Watch Foundation, which works to prevent child abduction and abuse. Al's dedication to philanthropy isn't something he does for the spotlight. It's part of who he is. His legacy goes beyond just being a TV icon. Al's influence in the fight against hunger is seen in his work with City Harvest, an organization dedicated to feeding the hungry in New York City. Through this work, Al has helped provide meals to thousands of New Yorkers in need. It's these efforts that remind us Al's true greatness isn't just on screen. It's in his heart. Health Challenges and Resilience Al's journey hasn't been all smooth sailing, though. His battle with weight loss has been widely publicized, and in 2002, he underwent gastric bypass surgery. This marked the beginning of a massive lifestyle change. He started running, completed the New York City Marathon, and openly shared his health struggles with the world. In 2020, Al faced another tough challenge. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer, but in true Al Roker fashion, he tackled it head-on, undergoing surgery and using his platform to raise awareness about early detection. His health challenges didn't stop there. In 2022, Al was hospitalized for a blood clot and internal bleeding, but once again, he bounced back with the resilience we've come to expect. His openness about his health has not only made him more relatable, but has inspired many to take charge of their own well-being, family life, and personal triumphs. When you think of Al Roker, you might think of him as the guy who's always upbeat and ready with a smile. But behind the scenes, he's a dedicated family man. His marriage to Deborah Roberts, an award-winning journalist, is one of Hollywood's most solid partnerships. Together, they've raised three kids, Courtney, Layla, and Nicholas. Al's proudest moment? Becoming a grandparent in 2023 when Courtney welcomed a baby girl. His social media posts about his new role as Pop Pop are filled with joy and gratitude. Even in the midst of a high-profile career, Al has made it clear that family always comes first. Whether it's supporting his kids in their endeavors or just spending quality time together, his personal life is all about love, resilience, and connection. So, what's next for Al Roker? After over four decades in the spotlight, it seems like he's just getting started. He's not only a weatherman, but a symbol of resilience, positivity, and hard-earned success. Whether it's his luxurious homes, his health battles, or his philanthropic efforts, Al's story is one of triumph. What's your favorite Al Roker moment? Drop a comment below and let's keep the conversation going.